Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial from Rocky D Rays. Today I'll be talking about paths and how to actually understand the path code. Well, for starters, you don't have to necessarily work with path codes and try to understand them, but it helps when you're getting into proper SVG background when you're trying to understand SVG code better. It helps to uh, come across the codes like this starting with M100, 200 followed by C and so on. So as you can see you have letters as well as uh, numbers and numbers are nothing but coordinates that you have been using so far. Alright on your screen you can see your nice shape over here and there is a stroke given to it which is in the color of let's say it is reddish anyways once i put a z over here watch what happens all right you can see that the p path has been closed off so what is going on over here and how do you manage to create such shapes all right let's start off learning about paths okay so paths are nothing but Alright, so paths are nothing but shapes that form when you uh, also involve curved paths. They are much more than just polygons that we have created in the previous tutorial. So what paths are made of are straight lines, curved lines as well as polylines. So how do you give them how to understand these codes? It's a, it's a tricky process, it's slightly confusing, but I am pretty sure if you follow along you will be able to understand within no time. And over here I have a swift, uh, I have the documentation from W3 and in the documentation of their SVG they have given a good example which we will look over and I'll try to explain how these points are getting created over here and in fact this code the first one over here is the same code that I have used to create the shape. So you don't have to use the codes from elsewhere to create your own shapes once you understand how what is being built over here and how. Alright, so starting off with M. M is nothing but move to command. So what it says is that you can see that after M we have 100 comma 200. So this tells the path drawer in the draw sheet to draw to start off the path from the coordinate that is followed by M. So what I'm trying to say is that M specifies the starting point of the path. The path that is being start that is starting over here. So C is a way to quickly draw Bezier curves. Bezier curves are curves that are created with control points and those control points are specified in this format. So 100 comma 100 is one uh, point which is specified right after C and what C takes as values is that it takes three sets of points as data. So as you can see over here C is having 100 comma 100 and 400 comma 100 and 400 comma 200. So 100 comma 100 and 400 comma 100 are nothing but the control points and 400 comma 200 is specified as the end point. So whatever comes last, the third set of points is the end point and the starting point is nothing but the one created by the M command. Alright, so I'll explain the same thing over here in this image. Let me zoom in a bit. Alright, so you can see M100, 200, C100, 100, 400, 100 and 400, 200. What's happening over here is that you can see two grayish dots so concentrate on those dots and you will be able to understand within no time. And you also have two dots which have no color between them which are starting and ending points of the path. As you can see the solid dots are above these colorless points and the red line specifies the path, the direction of the path. Alright so M, 100, M100, hundred, M 200 is nothing but the colorless point which is in the start which is the less leftmost colorless point so that is the that is telling the system that 100 comma 200 is the starting point over here and the control point 100 comma 100 is nothing but the it's nothing but the first gray point that you can see right above the leftmost 
colorless colorless point so what control point is doing is that it is guiding the curve to slightly tilt towards the color point so when we specify the 400 comma 200 as the end point it is nothing but the colorless point on the right side which is right above this the zeros that are highlighted over here since you can't look at my mouse i'm highlighting it over here so the colorless point right above these is the point that is the end point and the colorless point that is the start of this path is right above the one i have highlight highlighted over here so 100 comma 200 is nothing but the starting point and 400 comma 200 is the end point in between these control points exist which the first set defines how the curve moves and the second one specifies how this side of the curve actually tilts so this is nothing but it's like or if you have experience with photoshop the bezier curves which are made using pen tool are made in this fashion so you give a control point so that your curve tilts to a certain point and it follows that path all right so as you can see you have several other examples over here i'll leave the link in the description below you can go ahead and uh, you can experiment them as well on js fiddle all right so you can see you have m600 200 c675 100 975 so as you can see c always takes three dead three points as its data so m600 200 is the starting point over here right uh, right above m6 that i have highlighted highlighted over here and then c675 100 is the control point which is specified by the grayish dot that is the first one which you have seen uh, when in, in this curve Likewise, you have a uh, you have the next control point, which is the far extreme, uh, the extreme most right grayish point. That is the control point over here, and 900 comma 200 is the end point. So what this does is that this code actually directs the system to draw a curve, a simple curve in this fashion, which you are seeing in red color. Once you start working with them, you'll understand them within no time. And there is something called S as well, which is shorthand notation for C. S is something used for specifying that the previous behavior is still being followed. So you can read about all this in the documentation of SVG in case you want to work with paths and curves. Alright, so similarly you have a simple curve over here with red and you can see control points over here. And as you can see the control points everywhere are the ones which decide how a curve tilts and how a curve actually you know exists so a curve is always defined by its control points while the starting and ending point define where it starts and ends as usual so coming back to our code guys this is how we have created over here the m100 200 we have created a nice curve right here the curve path over here so we have given it a stroke of width 9 and a color and we have filled it with i have filled it with orange so one question is that why is the stroke getting cut off in the horizontal direction it's because we have not specified z what z does is that z is like m c and s it's another command which says to the system that i have closed my path so we have not closed our path yet z tells us that you know it tells the system that the path has been closed so now you can join the starting and ending points so go ahead and do that that's what Z is used for in similar fashion you can even use uh, something called H followed by a good uh, point that you can specify to tell the system that all right so as you can see H is something it draws a horizontal line from the position that you are willing to draw so i guess you can give 500 500 is enough in my opinion all right so as you can see 500 uh once you give 500 comma 600 it's uh, giving a different value but 500 it is because it is extending to the next point next x coordinate so it takes only one coordinate as its data point so it's like a half point but it's not exactly half point all right similarly you can even give a v v is like uh, it creates a vertical line so you give 800 and as you can see guys see over there 
I'll extend. I'll extend the. I'll extend the documents uh, height uh, a bit. So I'll make it 900. So that you can view it. So as you can see, we have a nice path over here. Let me just zoom out a bit. Alright, as you can see, we have a good shape over here. I will decrease the vertical line to 600 so that we can represent it better. Alright, as you can see, we have a good shape over here. We can decrease it further so that it will fit in our screen. Alright, so as you can see, we have created a horizontal line followed by a vertical line, both of which take only one point, one semi point as its value. So M as I as I, I would like to repeat again M takes the starting point it will tell the system to start drawing from 100 comma 200 and C is used for creating a curve which takes three sets of points and H takes half point each which is which is like taking just the x value and y value all right so simply after all this when you press Z and run it again you can see that the shape has closed again so this is how you create a path guys and the difference between a path and a polygon is that a polygon is made up of straight lines while a path can consist of curves, bezier curves and all kinds of things. Alright so this is Rocky D Rays and this was my quick tutorial on paths. I hope that you've understood about all this and I will give in the description below the uh, code for this whatever we have done here. I'll give the JS Fiddle code as well as the code for the SVG documentation on Bezier curves and uh, other types of curves which they have included in their project. You can have a look at that and you can immediately start off creating curves so that you'll get experience. I highly recommend that you work on JS Fiddle so that you can evaluate your results on, on your screen right away. And guys, don't do not worry about the code. It is quite easy once you start off picking up uh, the examples and working with them you will understand in no time now also make sure that you give a fill and a stroke and you can give a width to the stroke as usual as we we have done for polygons and ellipses you can do that over here as well all right so this has been a very important lesson i'm pretty glad if you have made it to this point and thanks a lot for watching keep watching my videos and let's get back to another cool tutorial in the next video all right this is rocky days and i'll see you later bye bye